The switch has been thrown on a second power station redevelopment at Lake Margaret on the west coast. While there's plenty of excitement, the extra power is unlikely to relieve the pain of rising energy costs. Tucked amidst majestic mountains and lush rainforests, the latest addition to Tasmania's energy grid. Tasmania is seen as clean and green. Uh, this further adds to, uh, to that image. The main power station upstream rejoined the state's energy grid last year. Hydro Tasmania spent $15 million rebuilding the 70-year-old wooden pipeline that fed water from Lake Margaret. Today it's relaunched a smaller station downstream, costing $13 million. Uh, this is a great day for the West Coast. Uh, the Lower Lake Margaret Power Station commissioned on top of the Upper Lake Margaret less than 12 months ago. A Perspex window gives a close-up view of the turbines in action. Together, the power stations make enough electricity for more than 2,000 homes. But all the energy will go to powering the Mount Lyle copper mine at Queenstown. I can't give you any details about the contract other than to say uh, that it is a, uh, a commercial contract uh, and it delivers a very good commercial return to Hydro Tasmania. But the power boost's unlikely to do anything to ease electricity price pressures on homes and struggling businesses. I'd like to know why we're paying so much. In Victoria don't pay as much as we do, and they mine coal and burn it. <laughs> there's, our, there's our generation up there. It costs nothing. Tasmania's energy prices are comparable or lower than most other states of Australia, so um, we're still in a good position. The state government's given the council a quarter of a million dollars to explore options for turning Lake Margaret into a tourist draw card. There is talk of a walking track between Lake Margaret and Cradle Mountain, which is pretty well virgin territory, would be an iconic walking track if it is to come to fruition. There's still no time frame for any proposal. David Riley, ABC News, Lake Margaret.